Tyson with Ag Aviation Adventures. We have Callie on the camera this morning, working production behind the scenes as usual. Now, she did just let me know that I look a little disheveled this morning. Maybe I don't look all put together. So if you agree with her, I'm sorry. Not much I can do about it. This is how I look. We're talking spreaders today, specifically the spreader that we have on this airplane behind me. Now you can see that where there usually are booms for spraying, there's not any booms, there's not a spray pump on this airplane. If you're interested in learning about that system, we already have a video out about it. I've also done a video about cover crop and spreading, which is the reason that we have this spreader on. With this video, we're talking specifically how the spreader works and what it does. So if you come in a little closer to me here, you can see that this is actually just hanging off the bottom of the airplane. It hangs on this gate and then it's bolted to the back of the airplane as well, underneath the belly. And then it does have fasteners on it up here that also fasten it to the underbelly. Now this is considered a 13 vein spreader, meaning that it has 13 different compartments that the seed goes through and then gets dispersed out the back. And you can see those compartments as well on the back of the spreader. How this works is that literally right above me here, this is the hopper of the airplane. So if we have liquid in it, this hopper has liquid. If we're doing cover crop, the hopper has seed in it. So right now we've been doing cover crop and the entire hopper has been full of seed. Inside the airplane, I'll show you here in a minute, but there's a lever that I push down on to release the seed. When I push down on that lever, what it does, it actually opens up this gate right here. With that open, seed can drop down into the spreader and then the airflow of me traveling forward takes the seed and it pushes it back into all of these veins that you see. Those veins then have a curve to it and it gets dispersed out in this direction as well as straight back. Once I'm at the end of the field, when I pull that lever back up, it closes this gate and prevents any more seed from coming out. So if you're watching videos of me spreading and I'm hitting that lever, pushing it down and pulling it up, that's all I'm doing is opening this gate right here and then the seed is dispensing down. You can see that we have a little bit of seed right here. So if I was actually flying, this would be going back. Now, if we walk around the airplane, I was telling you that it's a 13 vein spreader and we can see a little bit better all those different veins. So the back side of this spreader measures just over 13 feet wide. And these are the veins that I was talking about. So the swath width that I'm taking is usually probably between on an average 60 feet and 75 feet. It depends on the amount of seed that I'm actually dispersing, as well as what seed I am using, because all of that plays a role in how far out it will go. In order to get that seed out that far, I do have to fly a little bit higher than when I'm spraying. I'm usually around 50 or 60 feet in the air while I'm spreading. So when I say that it's a 75 foot swath, that means that it is going out 75 feet. Now the wingspan's only about 52 feet, so it's going out quite a bit further than the actual wingspan of the airplane. Now if you hop up over here, we can see the lever that I'm talking about in the cockpit. So this is what I'm actually pushing down on and pulling back up on. That is actuating that gate down below and opening it and closing it. If we open it up and you come all the way up, this is the hopper that I'd mentioned the seed is going into. And you can see right now that it has quite a large gap down in the bottom, fully open. So that's a bigger gap than I'd really ever run, but it really gives a good idea of how wide open it is. And you can clearly see exactly what's going on there. Again, this is how the spreader works. If you guys have any questions about it, please 
leave them in the comments section below and we'll get back to you. If you don't currently follow us on Instagram, find us over there at Ag Aviation Adventures. Callie's always posting stories as well as photos. It's a little bit more up to date than the YouTube stuff. Appreciate you guys watching. I'm Tyson with Ag Aviation Adventures. Fly low and fly fast. Thank you.